Hello from Saratoga Springs, but not in New York. We're at Walt Disney World. We have already taken a look at a refurbished studio at this resort, and now it's time to take a look at a one bedroom villa. So we are in the grandstand section and we're in this building right here. This is building 8,500 here at the grandstand. And one nice thing about this building is it's adjacent to the pool. And the pool also features the back stretch bar where you can get buffalo chicken nachos, a New York style hot dog and more. So let's go on up to our room on the fourth floor. One thing that's nice is these buildings have elevators. In the elevator, you can see the dining options and also the senses spa. And here we are, room 8825. And right outside the room, you have a view of the pool. Right as you enter, there's a little nook here with a console table, a mirror, and also some hooks. By the way, this is a connecting door to an adjacent studio, so this can be a lock-off two-bedroom villa. And on the right, when you walk in, is a utility closet that's locked off and some nice artwork. Of course, horses are the theme here at Saratoga Springs Resort. The room was set to a cool 68 degrees when we walked in. So now let's check out the living area and then we'll check out the primary bedroom. Here's the dining area. You have two tables, a bench, some decorative mirrors, and a chandelier here with leather belts holding it up. Here is the kitchen featuring a Whirlpool microwave, a Whirlpool oven, and a Whirlpool full-size refrigerator. The stainless steel Whirlpool refrigerator features a pretty big freezer section. You don't have an automatic ice cube maker, you just have a couple of trays. And down below, plenty of space for your groceries. These are decorative cabinets up above the fridge and microwave, so you can't store anything up there. Here's the Whirlpool microwave. And here's the oven. You have some baking trays in there. And down below, you have your pans. Now we're gonna go inside these cabinets, then we'll do the countertop, and then we'll do below the countertop. In the first cabinet, you have some small drinking glasses and bowls. Next to it, you have larger drinking glasses and uh, the medium sized ones. And over here you have a large serving dish on the top. You have some wine glasses, eight of them, and your plates. Also on the side of the door here, you have your full amenity list. So this is where you can see everything that's in the room or that's available upon request. Here you have some smaller plates and your coffee mugs, you have eight of those. And here you have some baking items. You have your strainer, a glass dish, you have some storage containers, a uh, measuring cup, a mixing bowl, a baking dish, a, a pitcher, and a casserole dish. Now on to the countertops. You have a two-slice toaster from Cuisinart, and you have two pot holders. Here's the paper towels. Here's a 12-cup coffee maker, also from Cuisinart. Here's your 
ice bucket. You have some cups and some tea bags and coffee. Looks like in this room, you no longer have the 50th anniversary blend. So we've, we've moved on. We just have regular resort blend now. Of course, you also have International Delight creamer available for you and some sugars. Here's the sink. Interestingly, this has a disposal and there's also some hand dish soap, a uh, sponge here, and uh, you got some dishwashing detergent back here for the dishwasher. So now let's take a look at the cabinets under the countertop. We already looked in the stove. Here are the cooking utensils. And here's your silverware. You've got two big spoons over here. And down below you have two pots, an extra roll of paper towels. You have more dishwashing detergent and hand dish soap. Here's the Whirlpool dishwasher. And under the sink, you have your trash and recycling. Now it's time to check out the living room. The living room features a very large flat panel TV and I believe there's a fold down bed underneath. Oh yeah, check it out, it's goofy. <laughs> Look at him. This bed is very easy to pull down, by the way. And even easier to put back. Facing the TV is the couch, and I believe that also pulls down to a queen-size bed. To the side of the bed, you have a statue of the Big Cheese golfing. And down below is one of the new Hey Disney devices. You have a little information on things you can do with that device. And I love this themed nightstand with the phone, remote, and take-along guide to the magic. We're still celebrating the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival as of recording of this video. On the coffee table in front of the couch is a book called The Story of Disney, A Hundred Years of Wonder. This book is currently being provided as an amenity to people staying in Disney Vacation Club rooms. Another nice thing about this coffee table is it does kind of pop up here. You have some storage space down below and you can really sit down at the couch, maybe have a meal here or maybe just read your Disney 100 book. There's another statue and it's of Old Mo, I actually had to look this up. He appeared in the 1948 animated short called They're Off. So now I'm gonna attempt to pull down this bed by myself. You do have to slide the coffee table out, but fortunately this is on wheels, so it's very easy to move uh, when you're putting down the bed. I had to use two hands, um, but when I pulled it down, I was pleasantly surprised. Here you have Goofy, you have Donald and Daisy out there, and Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto hanging out at this house. And this is a queen-size bed here in the living room, and uh, under the TV, that's a that's a twin-size bed. This is this is pretty cool. And we're back to the way it was. One nice thing about the main living area is you also have a, a ceiling fan here. And now the best feature of this room, the balcony. The balcony has two chairs and a small table and the chairs have the Saratoga Springs Resort emblem on them. One of the best parts of the balcony are the hidden Mickeys. And here's the view. You have a horseshoe in the lawn and you're overlooking Disney's Lake Buena Vista golf course. 
I see a golf cart going by. Now we're back kind of by the entryway. I want to show you the washer dryer. So up above is the dryer and these are connected units. Mm -hmm. Down below is the washer. So it's a top loader from Whirlpool. And this is a laundry basket that pops out. On the side here, you have a broom and a dustpan. And you get one bottle of laundry detergent for up to two loads. Now it's time to check out the bathroom and then we'll finish up with the bedroom. Coming from the main area, you pass the laundry closet and then you are in the bathroom. This is the toilet room, has some artwork and also a trash basket. Here you have a mirror and a sink. Of course you have your Disney H2O facial soap and your body lotion. And there's an extra roll of Cottonelle toilet paper down below. So now let's check out the stand-up shower. One thing I noticed is you just have one hook here on the side. There's also, of course, this towel bar. And let's take a look inside the shower. Walking inside the shower, I noticed you have your H2O Plus bath soap and you also have the shampoo, conditioner, and body wash mounted to the wall. And here is your handheld and rain shower head. On the side here, you have a clothesline. This kind of goes on an angle, so it's a little interesting. It stretches all the way across. So that's the toilet and the shower. And I do want to point out kind of the room configuration here. If you have guests staying out in the main living area, they have access to this bathroom. And these doors on the side here that lead to the, the primary bedroom and the other side of the bathroom can be locked. So this, this door here can be locked as well as this one here. So we're going to close the door to the shower and the toilet and we'll take a look at the rest of the bathroom. On the other side of the door it just closed you have another hanger. Which is and on this side of the bathroom you have your tub which has another H2O Plus bath soap and then you have a much larger sink and mirror and on the countertop, you also have your H2O Plus facial soap and your body lotion. There's also a makeup mirror over here. Some convenient power outlets to the side. And you also have some storage space. Here's a trash basket. And here's the hair dryer. And you also have an extra box of Kleenex. There's also a closet. This also has a full length mirror on the back of the door. And this closet is home to a lot of useful items. Up above are your extra pillows and blankets. You'll definitely need these if you have guests in the main living area. Down below you have several clothes hangers as well as your iron and ironing board. On the wall here is your safe. You also have a Windsor vacuum. So that covers both sides of the bathroom and there's just one room left. So here it is, the primary bedroom. This is a king size bed and I love the theming in this room. You have these really cool lamps and they also have USB plugs and regular power plugs. And of course you have your Bible here <laughs> and you have some storage space down below and also storage space under the bed. 
Speaking of storage space under this TV, you have all these drawers to work with. So you could really unpack and get settled in at this resort. And on the side of the chest of drawers, you have two USBs and two power outlets. The TV is directly center across from the king size bed. And I absolutely love all of the artwork here with the Disney characters in Saratoga Springs, New York. Here's the other bedside table. You have the same lamp with the outlets here. You also have a phone and some, some storage space down below. And there's a sitting chair in the corner here. And you have a lot of natural light coming in from this window here. And you have a view of the golf course. And to the left of the window, there's a very tall lamp here. So I think that does it for our tour here of a one bedroom villa at Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Park Rovers, and we'll see you next time.